Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, today we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2008 Saturn Outlook. Also applies to 08 through an 09 uh, Chevy um, Trailblazer and a whole bunch of other vehicles that have the 3.6 liter uh, GM direct injection motor. So we're going to be going and starting off by just moving the vehicle, starting it up, and letting it warm up uh, to operating temperature so we can get the oil warm. Uh, right now, if you notice, outside it is uh, 40, 43 degrees on that monitor. I don't know if you could tell. And the o odometer is 51,376. Um, the camera actually captures it as uh, just moving back and forth like that, flashing. But however, in uh, real life, it is um, still and not moving. If we take a look at the oil life, now it's been 4,000 miles since we've done the oil change. 4,000 149 miles uh, right over there because we always set the trip B when we do it and it says 55% oil life remaining and we reset that when we go ahead and um, uh, do the oil change and oil filter change so let's go ahead and drive around drive this thing around move it uh, it is automatic right over there um, we're gonna go ahead and move it back and forth to uh, the uh, shop and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take care from there see you guys in a moment here we go, 3.6 liter uh, VVTI engine. We're gonna go to be checking a couple fluids, um, doing pretty much a routine maintenance on the motor. And um, from there on on, we're gonna go ahead, once the routine maintenance is done, well, we're gonna go ahead and do the oil chain, pop up necessary fluids, check the condition of the tire pressures and the condition of the tires, and do a general uh, touch up, tune up, and whatever you wanna call it. Uh, Saturn calls for SAE 5 weight 30 engine motor oil. So keep that in mind. Um, that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be using. We're going to be using Valvoline uh, fully synthetic 5 weight 30 motor oil. Um, that's what it is. And it is 5 quarts synthetic power full synthetic. So that is like, you know, the most expensive oil you can buy. Um, they do sell it in many different grades, and this is was on sale on AutoZone for like $28, so that's why we got it. Next, you have some AutoZone Extended Life Antifreeze and Coolant. Uh, this is Dex Cool, and you need Dex Cool because the GM vehicles take uh, this orange or pink coolant. You cannot put uh, green coolant, it will damage the seals, and it won't make your vehicle run right. So this is the jacking point for the vehicle. It's under the vehicle. Um, this solid brace bar you just jack it up from here it's the first thing right after the bumper cover slash lower lip it's right over here so what you need to complete this task is a 15 millimeter combination wrench preferably a light of some sort and a shock towel would be good to have and probably a set of gloves um, oh and a drain pan and your new parts uh, because you're gonna be loosening that drain bolt so once we take 15 millimeter we climb under here make sure we get the 15 millimeter side then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it on right over there okay and then we're gonna go ahead and twist this way oops okay. we cracked it open now we're gonna go ahead Remove the drain pan, drain bolt. Hold it, you see that's the the bolt we're removing. Sorry about that. There you guys go, once you guys get the bolt out, you have it right over here, check for metal shaves. We're gonna go take it out to the bench and check there. Meantime, just adjust accordingly. So we got the drain bolt clean, there it is. Um, check the threads, make sure they're not warped. If they are w the threads are damaged, just a little bit, I would recommend getting a new bolt. Some kits do include them. There is a crush o-ring there. As much as I wish I could replace that, I can't unfortunately because it is built into the uh, bolt so that kind of sucks but anyways uh, no magnetic shaving so that's a relief um, I don't really expect to see that with a car that's almost seven years old and has 50,000 miles on it because he almost never gets driven 
Um, so make sure not to torque this. If you're gonna torque it, the torque spec is 18 foot pounds is what it is in the manual. However, we're just gonna get it hand tight uh, with the small wrench. So just go in and thread that bolt in. And then once you get it threaded in all the way by hand, take your 15 millimeter wrench, climb under there with the offset pointing towards us, climb under there, and tighten this up, turning it this way. And then just get it one tighter. That's your torque spec right there. It shouldn't need more than that because uh, it is aluminum drain pan and an aluminum bolt and those two really do not go together. So I suggest you don't over tighten that. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and move on to changing the oil filter and then adding the new oil into the engine. This is what we got for the filter. It is a Bosch 3334 premium oil filter. It was around 7 bucks at AutoZone. Um, yes, this was the most expensive one. I would not cheap out on filters because filters can fall apart and they don't filter as much once they get towards the higher mileage. As you see, this is a Bosch and it was, I'm trying to find where it was made. One oil filter OE fit, 99% efficiency. They all say that. This is the premium, however, they did not make a high premium for this, uh, but this does work for the semi synthetic motor oil, as you see over there. Not to remove the old oil filter, I suggest you move the drain pan because the old one is that big blue thing right down there. We're going to see if we can get a light on that to make it a little bit easier to see. But it's that big blue, t blue thing down over there and we're going to try to see if we can lower the car, bust that loose and uh, get it out of there, change it and uh, finish up this oil change. So there we are with the oil filter. We're going to go ahead and see if we can unscrew that by hand right now. Just grab it and then untwist it. Done. <clears throat> I may have to get a cloth around that and try it without the camera. So once you get the filter loose, which took about 10 minutes because I had to do it by hand, stupid wrench doesn't work. It's uh, really, really tight. Whatever shop installed it last did a horrible job. So just keep unscrewing the filter. And please try not to drop it because trying to get the filter is a pain in the ass. Filter's like full. So just watch out. There's the filter. Now go ahead and carefully set the filter down. Go ahead, your oil, and leave your oil pan under there while we go ahead and take care of this filter on the bench. Now, some smart thing to do is to go ahead and put the filter, I, I actually put it in the box that it came in. So now what we got to do now is take the O-ring, or not the O-ring, but some oil from this one right over here, and some new engine oil, and out of the 5 quart jug. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, dip my finger in the 5 quart, and wrap the oil around here, and kind of go ahead and, and make this O-ring nice and smooth and with coated with a ring of oil so it creates a nice seal against that however if your o-ring is stuck on your oil filter which can happen if your oil filter has been over tightened or you haven't done your oil change in a long time your o-ring will most likely get stuck on the oil filter mounting bracket um, and then you have to go find a way to peel that off but on this engine that would probably be really really hard to do because you'd have to feel for it you cannot see the oil filter mounting plate on this engine since it's a transverse so we're going to go ahead and do that right now and be right back.